My name was changed multiple times before I ended up with the one that I have now. Each time it happened, it erased my previous identity. I was born during the baby scoop era of adoption, and at that time, any mother who had uh, indicated at any point that she was thinking of relinquishing her baby to adoption and who had contacted an adoption agency would have been very, very discouraged from doing anything that might have caused any kind of an emotional bond between herself and her new infant. The adoption agencies and the social workers were very concerned about uh, new mothers changing their minds and trying to keep their own babies. So mothers were not allowed to hold their infants in the hospitals. They were not allowed to feed the infant. Often they didn't even see their own infant. They would have been uh, put under anesthesia for the birth itself and then just woken up without a baby. These policies were supposed to make it so that the biological mother would more easily be able to just walk away from her own baby. And it was supposed to sever all emotional connections between a new mother and her infant. It was supposed to make it so the adoption proceedings could start with, um, with no drama. I was um, put into foster care immediately after birth. And as far as I know, my mother didn't name me. In the legal system, Unnamed babies are referred to as baby doe. So that may have been what my mother thought of me as, or she may have thought that I went directly into uh, an adoptive home and was immediately given a name, but that's not what happened. Um, when she relinquished me for adoption, I was put into foster care and uh, left there for a while so that she was could change her mind and, and take me if she wanted me. But she didn't change her mind. She was apparently not told that I would carry her last name in all of my legal documents until the time that I was formally adopted. So I was baby carpenter on my adoption decree, which was her last name at the time. If she had another name for me in her heart, I don't know what it was. And I don't know what I was called in foster care either. When my birth certificate was changed and the original was sealed away, my name was changed to Terry Nelson, which is the name I carry today. I don't think my mother ever knew that my adoptive parents always knew her last name. When I was little, my adoptive mother would tell me, I know what your name is, but I won't tell you until you're 18 years old. And then she would point up to my adoption file, which was up in the closet in her bedroom. I never tried to look in the file. When I turned 18, she still wouldn't tell me what my last name had been. So I took my adoption file from her and I found the adoption decree inside. So I've known my last name, or at least what it was at the beginning since I was 18.
A name is such a small thing for most people. It's not even something that you think about. It's just who you are. But when you're an adoptee, a lot of times it's who you aren't.